there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And again, we are continuing to work through our Salesforce integration training. This video is part of a series. Hopefully you've been watching these videos in order, but if you haven't been watching them in order, please go back to the beginning and watch them in order. They're all designed to build on each other to help you get the most out of the phone burner integration in Salesforce. Now at this point, we've talked about quite a few things to help you get up and dialing. And now I want to actually talk to you about the dialing process. Of course, we just recently talked about creating list views to help you manage and organize your list so that you can be laser focused and target the right prospects, the right leads at the right time every time. But let's go ahead and jump into a dial session. There are some things that I want to talk to you about there that we haven't talked about yet. So I'm going to go ahead and take uh, a couple of these records. Actually, let's take Alan and Barbara, and we're going to initiate a dial session. Now at this point, we've already launched a few dial sessions, so I'm sure you already know how to do that. All right, so now we're connected. Let's go ahead and start dialing. So of course you create your list view. That gives you the specific people that you want to call. Now, if you're making calls and they don't answer, you don't have to listen to the entire greeting. You don't have to wait for the beep. As long as you've created a pre-recorded voicemail, you can click one of your voicemail buttons that has a voicemail assigned to it or one that you've selected at the start of the dial session. Now, of course, if somebody answers the phone live, there's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. You just start talking to them and then you end the call when you're done talking to them. And then you'll have as much time as you want or need to update this contact record, or in this case, this lead record right here in the dial session window. You'll see an iframe of the lead details pulled directly from Salesforce. So here you can see I can edit these fields right here in the dial session. And when I save them, they're saved back to Salesforce. Now that I've saved that, let me click on the edit in Salesforce link right here. That'll take me to the full record in Salesforce. If I go to the details, you'll see that the industry field has been updated based off of what I had selected and saved in the dial session window. Now back to our dial session. Let's talk about notes. Everybody deals with notes differently in Salesforce. I've talked to some organizations where they have a large text box in here that they add notes to. Let's say, for example, this description field right here. This is just a large text box. So I add my details and I probably would recommend putting a date in there so that the next time you come and add more details to the description, you can identify which update was when. Now, once I do that again, I need to remember to save that because that is a specific change to that record that needs to be pushed back to Salesforce. So that's one way that I see people logging their notes. Now, of course, Salesforce has a notes feature built into it. And so you can click on the create note button right here and you can log a note. So you add the title, the body, and then you save that note. Once you save the note here, it's actually saved to that record in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and refresh this. We'll go back to details and let's scroll down here. We'll see our description is updated based off of what we saved in the dial session window. And then if we scroll over here to the related section, as you can see, that note that I just saved is now visible as a related item to this lead record. Now, jumping back over to our dial session, another place that people like to log notes is part of an activity. So when you're making calls using phone burner and dispositioning, there's no way to add comments or specific notes to those activities because we're just going to be logging those so that you can move on. However, if you want to create your own follow up tasks based off of the call results and add those notes, you can just click on the create follow up task. And you can add your comments here. Once you save that, 
That record will then be assigned to that contact. And of course, you can see previous tasks and notes related to any of your contacts while you're making calls. So you'll always have access to the most important information you need while you're making calls so that you can move from one call to the next as quickly as possible. So again, no matter how you like to log your notes in your org, there is a simple way to take advantage of that using the phone burner app in Salesforce. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and happy dialing.